I have a very large, unbelievably gorgeous contorted filbert tree in my backyard. Over the past two years, sections of the tree have become sparse with foliage, and I think one section may even be dead. I have little black ants in my yard and often see them all around and on this tree and, and other ornamental plants. Are they killing this tree or is it something else? Any advice you can give me? If I need to replace it, where can I buy another contorted filbert? And this is from Darren. So, Miss Joellen, you know a little yes. bit about the contorted filbert, don't yes, you? Yes, I do. I have one at my house, ah, too. How about that? Yeah. How about that, Darren? Right. Yeah, I like so, them. So what can you tell? Now, black ants, Doc, I don't think that's a problem. No. No. Yeah. I don't think so either. I don't think that's going to be the problem. No. So what do you think may be the problem? Though? Yeah, I think it's blight. You think it's blight? Yeah, okay. there is a right. specific blight that gets on contorted filberts. Okay. And now this, the contorted filbert is actually a, a derivative of the European filberts. Okay. So, uh, it's not entirely native to this area. That's why it might get more susceptible to some blights that the regular filberts would not normally get right. in this area. Okay. But you know what? I know it's, the picture of it is very large. It's a cute, it beautiful large. tree, but, and it's been there for a long time. But we have had a very unusual year of wet rain. wet rain. And I think that may have caused, you know, this older tree, maybe it was more susceptible to the blight and then it's gotten this blight. Um, there's not a whole lot you can do with it except for the environmental conditions to try to get it more dry in that area mm -hmm. and more air circulation around it to try to alleviate the, the fungal problem, the disease problem. Right. So. Um, and if it should succumb to that and he wants to buy another one, yeah. they are readily available everywhere. So you would recommend buying another one? Well, I mean, he can't if, okay. and there's, this is just one branch, there's sure. still some left. Um, maybe, you know, make sure it's healthy okay. and try to make sure it's, it's not wet around it and it doesn't have a low area that it's in. I mean, yeah. I, you know, he'll, he'll be able to tell we've had some rain, so, you know, it doesn't pool water around it, you know, that's not really a good thing to do for filberts. They like it on the dry side and okay. want to have well-drained soil. And what's another name for the contorted filbert? Contorted filbert? Uh, Corollis uh, ava, <laughs> I mean, Aviula contorta. 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 Okay. But we know about something else as well, don't we? Yeah, Harry Lauder's walking stick. The there walking you go. Stick. Yeah, how yeah. about that? Yeah, how about that? Yeah, Great. it's That's really from the nice. Bug guy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How about that? So there you have it, Darren. Uh, yeah, just uh, look at your what environmental conditions. Have environmental there, conditions, sure, really. With the rain. Uh -huh. Make sure you have good drainage. Good right. air circulation. Right. Good air circulation. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Don't give up. Bye yeah, and, and don't plant another one in the same area. Right. Right. If okay. you do get another right. one, don't plant it in the same area. Hope you enjoyed the video. We would love to get more questions from you. So be sure to leave us some comments.